I'm Liam. And I'm Paolo. We're Lessons in Crime. And, and this is Studio, studio Swap, Swap, the show where we give you an inside look at each other's studios. Come Let's on go. in. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Let's take a look. Paolo did not originally have a door here, so he fashioned up this arrangement um, with this high-tech latching system here. I'm cold. I'm very, very cold. We're in the basement. It's winter. And this space heater down here is in fact broken. Let's check out what we got. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on in. This space heater works. I'm like my stupid space heater. All right, so right off the bat, my attention is drawn to this mask here. I wonder what that's from, what that's for. Paolo's ukulele, his name is Maslow. A traffic light. Um, and for Liam, you know, when he walks in his studio, he looks at this light to remind himself that in life, there's gonna be red lights. But really, the main light that we need, just go. Let's play a little game here. How many Lessons in Crime stickers are in here? One, two, three. I don't know if there are any more. We got the stickers here. Iconic. No sticker? We got tons. We put them everywhere we go. We have a cat treat. You might think that since Paulo has three cats that this is for them. Um, what Paulo will do is he'll kind of, when, when he's having a moment in the studio where he's feeling a bit low on motivation, inspiration, he'll kind of just, uh, he'll perch on here. And then after looking long enough, perching long enough, he goes, Eureka, a Casio keyboard. This would be our pre-practice ritual or a pre-show ritual, pre-everything ritual of the game. <laughs> Got the old bucket of percussion. We used this in a video once. Uh, lots of percussion there. Any more percussion? Another shaker. We'll sit here. Ah, oh, yeah, it's going This is the pondering couch. The couch to ponder. Look up and uh, just ponder. In this empty space, there was once an absorption pad. This is something that does really involve the cats. Before this door here was installed, they would come in here and they would jump up, bring it tumbling down. And so he had to do away with it, sadly. But luckily these beautiful, precisely cut <laughs> pieces of foam still remain. <laughs> Just look at how expertly cut this is, it's purely for aesthetic purposes. <laughs> Here's a prime example of cat chewing activity. Get a little piece out of the foam there. The cats have added a nice, lovely patina. It increases the value of the chair by having that. Anyway, if you're cold, blankets, some nice uh, absorption pads here. Uh, we got a few, actually, take a look around. Padded. Check out these reflections. There's like none, maybe a dog in the background. Pretty good. This is actually really cool here. Every time I ask Paulo to send me something to add on to a song, no doubt he will reach for one of these here. We've got the Volca Kick, Volca Drum, uh, Volca Keys, Volca FM. These are all really cool sounding uh, analog synths and samplers. Have you ever made a song without those? I don't think so. I think it's your signature sound. Uh, got a big lamp here. Gorgeous. That was for our uh, one of our shoots we did. We had to buy a bunch of lamps and all these stuff. Um, and this right here, this lamp, it really adds a lot of ambiance. This is supposed to spin. Why doesn't this spin? This is this usually spins. <laughs> this, this one broke. I left oh. the spinning ones for the bathroom upstairs. Let me just uh, turn off the light in here to get the true vibe going. See, if you really want to get into the uh, creative spirit after perching on the cat tree, you can turn on this light. Oh yeah, yeah. Really makes the bathroom experience much more pleasant. In order for Liam and I to make our music, we have to be in the right mood. We need to set that right mood lighting, you know? So we got this fancy dancy app. I want a ruby glow. You know, I'm kind of feeling a little ruby glow. And then I just kind of glow in the ruby. Golden pond, tropical twilight, blossom, crocus, Miami, Cancun, galaxy. Let's go to Tokyo. Mm. Oh, yeah. I can make music for this. Liam is guitar ready. Piano here, of course, but look at all these guitars. Electric guitar. Gorgeous, already plugged in and everything. 
Liam's cute little uke. In Liam's studio, doing a tour. Look at the colors tonight. Liam, you're quite cute. I have this little reminder here. Um, just so we never forget. I appreciate it very much, thank you. Liam got this guitar at a pawn shop. And I've seen this with him since I've known him, right? You got this. Doing a studio tour of his studio right now. We got some Sharpies, different colors. It's important to have some variety in your life. We got Vaseline <laughs> Intensive Care Dry Skin Repair. Because you never know when you might get dry. 500 push pins. We got a little mystery box. <gasps> oh, what is this? What? Is... what? <laughs> <laughs> it's Radiohead. It's uh, Karma Fleece. Why? <laughs> yeah. We got some pedals and stuff. <laughs> Check out that knob feel. music. It's all about the knob feel. See, when purchasing a pedal, you have to think about the knob feel. We got a collection of mics here. We got the uh, SM7B. Absolutely fantastic mic. Pair it with this bad boy, the cloud lifter, and mm, you got 20 dB of free gain. This thing sounds great off input. Nice bass resonance. And, oh, just broke everything. Classic, come on. SM58, you see these at all the shows you go to. It can really take a beating. Labeled. You know, not many musicians would go to the trouble of labeling their cables. We got XLR, we got Quarter inch and eighth inch. We got USB. Oh, that, that's not USB. <laughs> I'm a little disordered. <laughs> I was just wherever. praising your organization. <laughs> everything else. <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. You have miscellaneous and everything else. So what does miscellaneous mean? <laughs> that's everything else. Great, great. Miscellaneous storage stuff. You know, if ever there's like something, what do I do with this thing? What the heck is this thing? You just throw it in there. Paulo's favorite microphone. This is the, don't tell me, don't tell me. I know what it's called. What is this? This is the elect, elect, uh, is there 70 in there? Yeah. This is the Electro Voice RE20 that I know all about. Great microphone. I don't know how I feel about my voice on this microphone, but your voice sounds great on it. Uh, Liam's go-to mic here, the MXL V67. Uh, a nice little condenser here. We got the cardioid uh, pattern there, and a uh, nice and uh, directional uh, for uh, singers, you know. Uh, and then we got this nice little pop filter here, in case you got like a pop, bing, beep, bum, bing, bum, bop, bop. Handy, neat little interface. It's the UR44. You'll notice this monitor arrangement is very peculiar. Apollo is really embracing the um, the vertical video movement. Flip it on its side. Why do you have this monitor on its side? Yeah, I guess there's a lot of a lot of crud there. TikTok, of course. TikTok, of and course. Reels? This is where he watches all his TikTok content. <laughs> yeah, this is the party right here. Check this out. Liam's new MacBook Pro. Absolutely gorgeous. It feels great. Looks great. Keyboard, a little trackpad, you got a nice little keyboard, nice and handy. There's a sustain pedal under here for that real feel, you know. This keyboard here, Liam got when he was 13. And he still uses this keyboard to this day. This has memories to it. This is where he first started. <laughs> that cat was born in that closet right there. We got our toilet paper. I got toilet paper in my studio too. You get a little runny, sniffly nose. A little battery pack. Oh, this is very important. Paulo has often told me that he he would not be able to make music without this. I don't think uh, we'd be able to get anywhere without that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This hourglass right here represents a lot. In the time that it takes for this to come down, we gotta be as productive as possible. So we gotta go. We gotta look at that thing. We gotta just do as much as we can. Think of as much as we need to do, and we just gotta get it done. And then the moment that's done, we take a little breather. We go, oh, that's good. And we might go on back on the ponder couch. You know, I might have a little lay down. Oh, it's good. It's good. Relax, you know, relax. So the moment you see that, reset. Go, go. Yeah, so that's, that's the, that's the whole process, really. Just why we get stuff done as fast as we do. Uh, here we have uh, Paulo's electric drum kit. It's not great because you can't hear it. 
Yeah, it's it's really lame. Let's <laughs> <laughs> make this house. Right here, you see uh, a little album from a little, you know, yours truly. We have three of the greatest albums of all time. This album. We got a nice little salt lamp. You need some ambiance in your studio. Sometimes Liam will just take this paintbrush here and he'll, uh, he'll just um, make things look nice and pretty. You gotta do it with care though. You can't rush the process. Xylophone here. We use this on The Answer Doesn't Exist. Liam's handy dandy headphones here. No doubt. They're professional. The classics. It's comfortable. Look at that. It's cone. So I bought Liam this, uh, this, this uh, Tom here. I think it's like, for my birthday, wasn't it? It was for your birthday. I got you this. But the problem with that is it took like a year to ship. So it actually ended up being for your next birthday, kind of. If ever we just want to get our anger out, we just... Oh <laughs> I feel so much better now. <laughs> Paula doesn't actually believe um, that fire exists. It's, it's part of a, a niche group called the Fire Fire Deniers. So the first thing that he did um, when he got here and moved into this place was he violently, aggressively ripped out his uh, smoke detector. And if, if fire doesn't exist, then what's, what's the point? A lighter, candle here. What do we got? We got to, um, um, summer rain. Smells like that, baby. I'm not really set in the mood, you know? So I'm good. Ow! I'm just gonna forget about that other one. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Paula is completely obsessed with sunflower seeds right now. This cup full of the shells. I don't like any food that requires, you know, like in and out mouth privileges. I just want to eat the food. This is such a process. You, I'll just eat the whole thing. I'm not taking it out of my mouth again. I'm just eating them. These are really nice rugs. I like these rugs. Apparently, these rugs from Walmart. Go figure. Quality rugs. All right. Well, this has been Paulo's studio. Not much else I can say. Well, looks like that's it for the video. Yeah. Thanks for joining us on this studio tour. We've been lessons in crime. And, and this has been Studio Swap! Yeah! <laughs> See you next time. Catch you later.